Hey YouTube, well we are in November now and that means that I am due for the next update to my whole collection project polish. I know the last one was a little bit late, uh, so I'm trying to get this one in a, in a more timely manner. So we're going to get right into it because I'm going to show you the eight polishes that I wore in September and October. And then I'm going to pick eight new polishes for November, December. So we'll go ahead and start with this blue from Cuccio called Blueberry Sorbet. Very nice pastel blue. And I topped it with another polish from this project, which is Silver Rainbows from Sinful Colors. So you'll see pictures of both the Cuccio and the Silver Rainbows, but the Silver Rainbows is topping the Cuccio. Hopefully that focuses. Uh, the next one is a beige cream called Elegant from Revlon. And I wore this in a very cute fall apple manicure with a few other colors. And I cannot remember which of, what the other colors were that I topped it with. But um, yeah, this one's almost empty. Can you see? Like that is the fill line right there. So yeah, this is pretty much done. The next one was a perfect fall shade. And this is Send Hues from China Glaze. The next one is from Illyrian Polish, and this was their Trick or Treat Mystery from the Indie Shop in 2019. Really nice. Uh, the next one is the Midnight Galaxy from Blackheart Beauty, and you'll see in the picture that I also included Purple Slushy from Hollow Taco. So, two nice little holographic colors there. Then you'll also see Envy Lacquer's Unicorn Blood, and um, I topped this over Petricor from Pretty Serious Polish. So, you can see it over that blue, it gives a nice opalescent effect. And then finally, I used Under Your Spell from, where's the label, there it is, uh, Under Your Spell from Wet n Wild, and this is a very sheer polish, so I topped it over a black cream in the swatch picture. So these are all the polishes that I used. And now we're going to go ahead and see what the unicorn chooses for my next eight polishes. All right, here we go. Ooh, the first shade is called Boogeyman by J. Ryan or J. Rain. Don't know how to say that. Let me go show you how that one looks. This is it. This is Boogeyman. And Boogeyman was another indie shop exclusive back in 2019. Um, it's a really great fall polish. You can see it's sort of got that smoky blue base and it's just full of that uh, kind of coppery red shimmer going through it. Um, gorgeous fall polish and I already had this picked for my fall polish basket so I can't wait to wear it. All right, let's see what the next polish is. Southern Belle from Moonshine Manny. Let's go have a look at that one. Here she is. This is Southern Belle from Moonshine Manny. Uh, it came out in a fall collection a few years ago. I forget which one. But as you can see, it is a gorgeous sort of mustard yellow cream. Uh, I really like this one, and it got shook up a little bit on the way walking over here. But um, I would say the fill line is probably right here. So that tells you that I really have loved wearing it, especially in the fall. So, let's see what else the unicorn has in store. Uh, 
Ooh, Sunkissed from Jamberry. Let's have a look at it. All right, here it is, Sunkissed from Jamberry. And uh, if you don't know, Jamberry was one of those uh, kind of a little shady multi-level marketing companies, you know the, the type. They used to sell what they called nail wraps, which were basically stickers for your nails. And uh, my sister-in-law was hosting a party and wanted to know if I wanted to try any, and I thought the nail wraps were horrible. Um, but I, you know, was trying to be nice. So I saw they sold nail polish as well. And so I thought, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and buy some just to support her in her hostessing or whatever. Um, this was $15 a bottle and this was probably like, I don't know, five or 10 years ago, but it's a really nice polish. As you can see, it's sort of a watermelon red cream and, uh, it really has a nice gel like quality on the nails, that nice a uh, plump look and it's pretty long lasting. So, um, the fill line on this one is probably, I've used probably about a third, uh, of this bottle because it is a really nice polish despite its background. So, um, normally I'd wear this in the spring and summer, but I'm sure this will find a way to fit in with my fall looks. So that's that one. All right, let's see what else. The unicorn has in store. Amelia from Zoya. All right, let's go have a look. Here is Amelia, uh, which was one of the first polishes that I ever bought from Zoya. Um, and of course, we all know the quality that Zoya has. So it is a brown cream. Um, I feel like in natural light, it tends to have maybe a little bit more of a almost like a grayish brown uh just a slight hint of brown in it it's not a real chocolatey brown color but um it is really pretty turn it upside down so you can see the label um and of course perfect for fall um well wow, i'm getting a lot of nice fall colors uh being picked by the the unicorn at the moment so that is going to be a good one all right, let's see what else we've got in store. Oh, this one, San Antonio from OPI. Let me go grab that one. So here it is, San Antonio. There's the label. Um, and not only is it representing the town that I live in, but um, this is one of the first tan cream polishes that I ever remember being able to find. Uh, back in the day, it seemed like every polish you could find other than a true red or maybe a pink was some kind of frosty shimmer. And I was getting into nail art and I was really looking for a nice tan cream to do like a Burberry manicure. Uh, and this was the one that I found. So I really have enjoyed this polish over the years. And uh, again, looking forward to wearing it is already part of my fall basket. So all right, great. Let's see what's next. We've got three more polishes to choose. Ooh, Vega from Zoya. Let me go grab that one. All right, this is Vega from Zoya. There's the label. Um, it is, I guess you'd call it kind of like a sea green. It's one of their pixie dust lines. So you can see it's full of holographic glitter. And because it's a pixie dust, it does dry textured, which I am not a fan of. Uh, but I do put a, a nice healthy dose of uh, glossy top coat over it to kind of smooth it out. And one of the main reasons I bought it was for the name, because Vega is the last name of some of my in-laws. So I saw it, I was like, ah, oh, that, that'll be great. Anyway, really pretty. I mostly wear this in the spring and summer, but I will find a way to incorporate it into my fall manicures. All right, just two more. Let's see what else the unicorn has in store. Ooh, Marigold from Zoya. All right, here she is. And Marigold is this sort of warm-toned red. 
uh, like a tomatoy red, I guess, with a gold shimmer running through it. Uh, I have had my eye on this polish since I first saw it when it came out, and I finally picked it up in a sale. And uh, see, there is the label if you want to see that. Um, anyway, this is one that um, I've only worn it once. Uh, but I wore it in the summer because it's kind of bright, but I could see with that gold shimmer running through it how it could definitely fit in with fall manicures. So uh, looking forward to wearing that one as well. All right, let's see what the last one is that the unicorn suggests to us today. Tiger Blossom from Morgan Taylor. Let's see what it looks like. All right, this is Tiger Blossom from Morgan Taylor. Uh, this is the first Morgan Taylor polish that I ever picked up, and boy, have I been sleeping on them. Uh, they are a really good quality polish, uh, and this is just a nice coral cream. In some pictures, um, since I've worn it before, it does come out maybe a little more red, but in uh, real life, it's, it's not red at all. I can show you next to the Jamberry polish you see the difference. The Jamberry is definitely more red. But sometimes in pictures, the Morgan Taylor uh, Tiger Blossom looks a little redder, but it is more of a coral. So uh, this is one that I also tend to wear more in the spring and summer. But, you know, when you're choosing random polishes, you just never know what you'll get. So, yeah, this will be another nice one that I can incorporate into fall manicure. So these are the polishes I'm going to be wearing in my project polish for the next two months. Uh, some of them are perfect fall colors, so I'm kind of happy about that, that I, I won't have to try to, to wrap my brain around wearing them since I'm such a seasonal wearer. Uh, some of them aren't, but I'll, I'll definitely uh, incorporate them into my manicures as well. And I will see you again at the end of the year for the, the last final installment. <laughs> I hope you all have a great day and happy November.